Hello, my pretty girls and my handsome little men. How are you? Lovely to see you as usual. All set, all showered and dressed up, right? And ready with your drinks and with your friends or cousins or your siblings, maybe your moms. Are you ready to listen to another story? Huh? And uh, how are, how school going? Any tests? What did you score? Let me know. And let's start with what the message of saving the planet Earth. Yes, the planet Earth saving it totally and keeping the environment clean, pollution free and healthy so we can have good health, good life, active life, longer life. All of us, it's for all of us all over the world. So, kya message tha? Gigi, yes. So I just wanted to tell you and you give me your suggestions also. How can we make um, the environment clean? Sabse pehle, whatever you eat, the coverings, the wrappers, jo unke lafafe hain, packs hain, especially plastic, especially plastic. Usko mat pinke, don't throw it around, throw it in the dustbin, right? You know what plastic does? Plastic, what it does is it suffocates. You know, you remember Rooney's story I told you? What happens is that it does not dissolve even in the sea and fish think it's food, different kind, all the sea creatures think it's food and they swallow it and then it gets stuck there. It chokes them, it makes them throw up and then they start dying. Would you like that to happen to our sea creatures? And it's the same here, you know. Remember that story? Don't litter in which he would throw plastic wrappers around and things like that at home, even in school, even outside school, even on the street. And the cat choked on it. They, she had to be taken to the doctor in emergency. So, we should keep our minds in these things. And when we go shopping, we take our clothes and cloth bags or plastic bags that will dissolve or then uh, paper bags. Totally. You know what? Um, there was kids in, in school and they started making paper bags and started selling them and soon the whole school like about 250 they all started carrying paper bags even for their lunches even they would take it home and give it to their moms or whenever they would go shopping they would use paper bags right so all done right and they were very brilliant kids I must say and you are brilliant too you are very smart aren't you फिर और क्या कर सकते हैं हम एयर पोल्यूशन एयर पोल्यूशन के ये है कि यू शुड नॉट ट्राई टू व्हेन यू गोइंग टू स्कूल डू अ कारपूल और कारपूल मींस कि आप किसी फैमिली या किसी और के साथ नेबर्स के साथ या जो रास्ते में आपके लोग रहते हैं उनके साथ शेयर कर ले कार सो देर बी लेस कार्स ऑन द स्ट्रीट एंड लेस एयर पोल्यूशन यू नो द केमिकल गैसेस दैट कम आउट फ्रॉम द Exhaust of the cars, yes. Yeah. So it, air pollution we prevent ho sakti hai. If we stop smoking, if we stop burning too much coal for heat and warm bonfires and and you know wood. So that way trees are cut down and that's really sad. So we should try not to smoke. Discourage smoking, no littering. You can make a compost and fertilizer by digging a hole. Remember that story? Yes. And then you can plant a tree. You uh, don't dispose of your plastic bags in the sea. And air pollution can be cut down by making outdoor visits in the car. 
much lesser unless it's very important to go or do carpooling when you have to commute to your school or college or office. And what else? Yes, and we should plant trees, yes, instead of cutting them down, right? And they save us from landslides, jo paharon pe se tufan aate hain, aur wo saath plants, or trees, or rocks aate hain, aur villages ke villages, gaon ke gaon ho jaate hain, thik hai na? Aur bhoat dhuk ki baat hoti hai. And what else can we do? Yes, good children. All right, so do remember to plant trees. Now, next is a story. Now, I'm sure you all can relate or you will meet with the children. Some children are very hard working. They're called diligent. What do they say? Diligent, hard working and nice and kind. Some children are lazy. They don't want to do any work. So let's see what happens. Uh, when you are lazy and you don't help out others and you know my all motto is always helping others help extending your hand of kindness and help to everybody those who are in need because it all comes around to you and that's how our planet earth can be a happier happier and loving place okay a sip of tea Okay, now there was this girl, what's her name? Uh, okay, there was this girl, uh, her name was Linda and she lived with her father and then her father married another lady, right? This is Linda, isn't she sweet looking? Ah, I drew it for you guys, right? So we can have Linda with us. All right, now Linda was... Um, very nice and sweet and hard-working girl. She would help her father with the homework and all she had to. The father got married to another lady or she also had a daughter. Now there was a big difference between Linda and the other girl, Belinda. Now Linda was very nice and polite she would not answer back. Uh, now this new mother of hers did not treat her very well because she was not very good natured. She was greedy and she didn't want to share food and things with Linda because she was not her own daughter. All right, but she really pampered and loved and looked after her other lazy daughter. So the name of the story is The Lazy Girl. So and the diligent girl actually it's all about her and let's see now uh, Belinda's mother is always angry with Linda so Linda one day she's working and I don't know suddenly her, her mother her, her father's second wife she starts screaming at her and she gets mad at her tells her go get out we have already we are three mouths to feed yeah, because he's a small peasant, the father. And she pushes her out and go find a job in a rich house. And when you have made money, then come back and bring money back also. Uh, she doesn't say anything and she just picks up her bag with her mother, didn't even let her have clothes, just one or two clothes she had. And she left home. Now, she was a brave girl. She, she was determined and she was hopeful that she'll find a place in a house where she could work as a house worker. As a maid, then she would be able to go back and meet her father and be home. So she started walking and walking and she walked and walked until she came across a tree and the tree could talk. Isn't that amazing? The talking tree, it was a huge beautiful tree giving shade and fruits. Now, but since it was kind of autumn and its twigs, its choti choti branches could twigs get there, huh? 
और वो सब ड्राई हो रही थी और जितनी भी एनर्जी थी ट्री ट्रंक में वो सारी उनमें जाया हो रही थी कि बिकॉज नथिंग वॉज गोइंग तो वो ट्री से हे गर्ल हु आर यू वन वॉट आर यू डूइंग हेयर सो मेलिंडा टोल ट्री शी फर्स्ट शी वॉज सरप्राइज बट शी शी वॉज इन ट्री शी वॉज एक्साइटेड वाओ एंड शी वॉज एक्साइटेड खुश होगी उसने कहा कि मैं Uh, किसी रिच हाउस में जाके काम करना चाहती हूँ ताकि मैं पैसे बना सकूं सो आई कैन अर्न सम मनी एंड सेव सम मनी द ओक ट्री सेट वे कैन यू डू मी अ फेवर मिलिंडा सेज यस ऑफ कोर्स आई कैन इट्स सेट प्लीज क्लाइंब अप एंड ब्रेक माय थिन थिन ब्रांचेस या इट्स पेनफुल I would it would be less a strain on me and I'll be cleaner then I can grow healthier Melinda said why not and she cluck cluck she climbed up the tree and she threw away put away all the dry branches the small branches dead branches of the tree oh so she was done and then she walked on mm, the oak tree Thanked her. Then, as she was walking, walking. Now it was a long way off to where pe- rich people lived. She had to walk to bigger farms. There, on the way now, she met a a mud oven. Oven, you know what? Just me, your mama. खाना पकाती, बेक करती हैं, केक्स बेक करती हैं, ब्राउनीज, कुकीज, right? मगर वो मट का था यू नो लाइक वी हैव तंदूर या मट अवन आउटडोर अवन उसका बुरा हाल था उसकी मट्टी गिरी हुई थी एंड इट वॉज वेरी सैड ही सो द गर्ल ही ओपन इज आईज इट वॉज अ टॉकिंग अवन अगैन एंड इट्स सैड टू दी अवन हे अब वेर आर यू ऑफ टू यंग गर्ल शी सेट आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड अ जॉब in a rich household so i can save some money is that okay but can you do me a favor she said yes he said can you help me clean and prepare me my mud has fallen off right and even i need some cement you know all around me to fix me i need a lot of repair melinda said yes of course i can do that so first she scraped him she cleaned him she cleaned the bottom of the th- uh, oven and then she took some mud and mixed it with water and she was all dirty but she didn't care she wanted to help the mud oven and then she put it spread it all over the oven and it was ah uh, and it, when it would dry it would be as good as new it was so happy thank you lady and the young miss missy starts walking what's her name mm belinda mm. that's right the lazy melinda is at home right so now ben um linda is walking on on and then she comes across a dog a oh, woof 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 oh and it co- take uh, 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 attracts her attention she says, why up you woof woof go she said i'm going to look for a job he says i'm so dirty woof woof can you wash me clean and clip my hair i ha- even have a pair of scissors oh woof woof she says okay she took the dog she petted him and then she took him to a stream washed him clean kept his hair and he was looking so smart and so happy and he also woof woof thank you so much woof woof thank you so much he said that now she had helped who the tree the mud oven and the dog wow is that amazing um was there anything she helped again i okay so now as she walked on oh she came across a beautiful house or she walked towards it and knocked on the door and some but he opened the door guess what they were there were seven fairies there 
The fairy said, you're welcome. Come in. What do you want? She said, uh, um, can I uh, spend night at your place because it's getting very dark and I'll be, I'm scared. Can I sleep? And I have no way to sleep. Can I sleep for one night? She said, but okay, but where are you off to, lady? Where are you off to? She said, I am going to look for a house where I can find a job to help in the house chores. The, the fairy Nika, why don't you stay overnight? And we need some help. Why don't you help us? Yes, we have seven rooms. You have to keep them clean and in order. That's all you have to do. But you have to do only six rooms. You're not supposed to go to the seventh room. Okay. She said, fine. She was happy. She had found a job. She didn't have to go looking for it all over the countryside. So she was very happy to go there. Next morning, she started regularly working. She worked quietly. She did as she was told. And she never even looked at the seventh door. She kept cleaning and keeping everything in very good order because she was a very diligent. That's the new word you learned. Hardworking, diligent and hardworking. And she worked morning and evening, and she, but she didn't ever go to the seventh room. Now the fairies knew, ah, she's a good girl. So they were nice to her, they fed her well, and they looked after her, and she looked after them. And soon one year had passed by. Whoa! Uh, whoever is listening to my story, could you please like my page? Thank you. And uh, wow, uh, she uh, kept working and working and then one year had passed, like I said. After one year, she wanted to go back home. So she went up to the fairy and spoke to her. And what did she say? She said, dear fairy, you've been so nice to me. Now that I'm missing home, I need to go home. Would you allow me to go home? Oh, yes, of course you can go. But you'll have to do one thing, and that is tonight you will go and sleep in the, do uh, the room number seven, which you have not been going into. You have been a good girl. You didn't go in there. Go. And later there you'll find gold and silver coins. Whoa. And just lie down on them, go to sleep. Whatever coin, silver or gold gets stuck to your dress, they will be all yours. Oh, man, Melinda was excited. She, she could go home. She wasn't a greedy type. So she went off to, into that room and she was splendidly surprised. Itta bada kamra usme itne gold coins, silver coins the. Oh my God, they could not ever be counted. So she lay down quietly on the bed of coins, be late gay, or so gay. Masi se, jab us subha uti, to pohat se gold coins or silver coins uski dress pe, piche, aage, chipak gay. They had glued on, to, they were stuck on her dress. Look at it, this is her apron, her collar. So they were stuck here, 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 everywhere. Chayna ji. Phir kya hua? She thanked the fairies and started walking back home. Now it was a long walk as she was walking. Whoa, whoa. She heard the same dog. He said, good morning. How are you? Whoa, whoa. She said, I'm fine. It's good to see you all clean and healthy. He said, well, you look thirsty. Do you want some water? She said, yes. I would like it. So he took he took a tumbler, went to the stream and gave her a good glass of what? Hmm, water. She was so thankful. She drank the whole glass and then thanked the doggy and started walking on. Soon she came across uh -uh, the same mud oven. And, and she was tired and hungry because he had been walking like 
the first time, you know, how far it was, the fairy's house where she had been working. Oh, she was tired and hungry. She didn't know what she could do. And suddenly, when she saw the mud oven, it was all surrounded by big croissants and cookies and pies and quiches. Wow, what a splendid spread, she said. But she didn't help herself, no. And then the mud oven said, Hey, lady, I, I know you're hungry, you're famished, you need rest. So why don't you come and eat some food from me? And you can pick and choose as much as you can and enjoy the meal. So she started, she was so, thank you, my dear oven, my dear friend. She picked up one layer and she was so famished. She was so famished that she was so famished. Kindly please like my page. Whoever is listening, I appreciate it. Wo khati kai. Uske baad usne thoda sa jo uske paas bag tha, thoda sa khana on the way back ke liye ya ghar ke liye rakh liya. See how kind she was. She didn't. She didn't want to take revenge. She didn't get bitter. Wo sami nahi thi ki uski stepmother ne uske saath kya kya tha. But not all stepmothers are like that. Remember, all people are different. So as she started walking, feeling fed, or bahut acha feel kar rahi thi, people chalti, chalti, walking, walking, and now she was tired. She wanted to sleep, and then she saw the tree with full of fruits and full of leaves. It was giving a grand shade. She just sat down there under the tree and it felt as if some, uh, the, uh, the tree put its branches around her and she felt embraced and hugged and cuddled and she went to sleep there and she was safe. But when she got up, she, she hadn't noticed the fruits earlier because she was hung, she was tired and, you know, sleepy. So there were a lot of fruits. And the tree said, you can have as much of fruit, you can pick the fruit, you can pluck the fruit, eat it, enjoy it, and then you can take it with you. And that's exactly what she, she ate some, she picked some, she collected, and she went up the tree and plucked some fruits, put them in her bag for her father and mother and sister, and started walking back home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's exactly what happened. Soon she reached home. The mother was shocked to see her and with gold, silver coins all over her dress. Ha! Ah, so you made so much money. Hmm. She was not even happy. She didn't even... The father was so happy and he hugged his daughter and was happy that she had come back. And now, but the mother was so angry. That mother, let me show you her expression. She said, oh, my daughter Belinda is going to make more money. So she pushed out her lazy, lazy Belinda. Belinda, where? Yeah, out and tell her, you go and bring all that money by working in that house when she had heard the story from Belinda. Oh, all right. So she was pushed and she was not happy because she didn't like to work at all. Okay, so where is our okay sulky little lady? She looked quite like her mother. She looked quite like her mother, okay? So she went and she was heavy because she would always lie down in the house. She was huffing and puffing and when she reached the tree, now the tree saw her and asked the same question which it had asked Linda. What are you doing here, young girl? She said, oh, I have to look for a job in a rich house so I can bring some money. He said, okay, but all my branches have dried and they are dead and they are taking away my food and energy. Can you help me by pulling them out so I'm cleaner and healthier and stronger? She said, no, I, I can't do this. I can't climb the tree and why should I help you? This is how she was. So she walked on with a sulky face. Very different from Linda. Look at the expression. 
So she kept walking and walked. Ha ha, she was panting and then she came across the same mud oven. Yeah, it was a task. And the oven said, Hello, what are you doing here? She said, Oh, I am walking and past you and ahead because I have to look for a job and make some money. Hmm. He said, but before you go, can you help me? I'm all worn out. I'm all broken from all over. Yeah, I can't bake properly. I can't work properly. She said, no, I don't want my hands to get dirty and I don't have time for all this. I'll get old soiled. I'm wearing such nice clothes. And she walked off with a sulk on her face and there she could not look at her how different she is yeah and then she walked on and on and on and what happened yeah now who did she meet the dog woof, 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 woof. he said hello can you help me i've become dirty there was another lady who washed me now can you wash me woof, woof, woof. can you wash me woof, woof. She said, no, you're so dirty, you'll make my clothes and my hands so bad and dirty. And what if I develop a lurch? You know, I don't have time for dirty people and dirty things. And oh, he was so sad and he sat down. <laughs> and she walked off huh, like this with a proud face and with a sulky face and there she walked on and she was so tired it was evening time and then she saw the beautiful house the same Linda had seen so now Belinda reached that and knocked and walked in and there was this beautiful fairy same fairy and she said what do you want she said, can I, can I sleep in your house, please? I'm so tired, I'm not. She said, okay, but what are you doing here? She said, I am looking for a job so I can make some money. My mother has sent me away from home. Oh, oh, the fairy was equally nice to this girl, but she knew her, that she was different. So she told her to, she was welcome to spend the night and she could work at the place by cleaning six rooms out of seven and then she was told very strictly never ever open or go inside the seventh room. So she was just supposed to organize and clean saaf rakhnete or organize rakhnete six rooms. She said okay and but she's, for, for the first few days she worked because she knew she was going to get money and then and she would pass, whenever she would pass by the seventh door, she would be very curious. So one, now, but time went on and on. She spent some weeks, but she could not, she could not shut out her curiosity. So one night she sneaked in and what did she do? Oh my God, she went and opened quietly the seventh door. And she stepped in and she saw everything was dark and quiet but still she was very curious. She did not follow the rules. Discipline is very important and you should not cheat or sneak. No, 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 it's a bad habit. You should be, you need courage and bravery. Yes to stop you, to suppress your curiosity, okay, when it's good time, you'll find her. But when she went in, the door slammed shut and suddenly she was surrounded by bees and wasps. Oh my God, an insect that bite like bees and wasps and so many kind of, they picked her, picked her face. Um, that she started, they bit her so much that she started bleeding. She started screaming and ran out of the door, screaming, screaming, screaming. And she just ran and left the house and started running towards her home. She could not work anymore. She hated that place. And, and imagine, she said, what did I do to deserve this? 
Nita see her face was bleeding, her hands were bleeding. Oh my God, she was in a mess and she was huffing and puffing and when she reached the dog, the same dog. Woo, woo. What's wrong with you? Oh, can you help me dog? Can you br bring me some water to wash my blood and my injuries, my insect bite? He said, woo, woo. I can't help you. I can't help you. You didn't help me the last time. Oh, and she walked on. Huh? And then she came as she walked, itching and scratching and crying and hurting so much with blood spots all over her dress which she wanted to keep clean. And she reached the mud oven. Now the mud oven had the same big delight, the croissants and the brownies and the pies and the pastries and they were all laid out in front of of all around the oven. Oh, she was so hungry and so fed up. Oh my God, she ran and ran. And then she grabbed, without even asking, she grabbed, tried to grab the food. But the day, ah, an arm came out of the oven and snatched the plate. No, you don't deserve this food. Did you help me when I needed? Did you repair me? Did you fix me? Did you listen to my plea of help? When did you request Kitty help me? Kya aapne help ki? No, you can't get this. You go off your way. You're not a kind girl. You're not a good person. And so the lazy girl took twice as longer to keep going. And then she came across the same tree that I had asked her to break her twigs. Oops. Now she could see juicy fruits hanging on the branches of the tree. And she wanted a nap. So, oh, she went and sat under the tree to sleep. But the insects around there started poking her. Even the branches of the tree just told her and disturbed her so she couldn't sleep. But she said, I can eat at least. So she tried to pluck the fruit and the branches would move up. And the voice came. No, lady, did you help me? Uh, did you help me clean up? break off my branches that were poor things dead right and they needed rest and I needed more food from the roots oh my god now you won't get any fruits and you won't get any rest under me you go your way you're a nasty little girl oh she cried now she was bleeding more because nothing had been done to fix her insect bites hundreds of them all over her Bzz, remember and woo, she walked and trotted and, you know, very gradually, tired and in pain and in agony, she entered her home. And guess what? When Linda saw her, she ran to her and, and to ask her what had happened. And the mother was so angry to see her like that. Why did this? Why did you do such things? Why couldn't you bring money? She didn't even bother to wash or bandage her daughter, but Linda did. And then the girl cried and cried. She was in pain. She was hurt. She was injured. And the father said, I told you to the mother, she will not be able to make money. Now, when the father had realized that the mother had thrown away Linda, Linda had not walked off or of her own wish, he told his wife and his daughter, Belinda, you are not worthy of staying in my home and sharing my food on my table. And he threw them out of the house and they both had to leave the home. And now the father and the daughter, Linda, would be living there. He said, you don't deserve to live here. You have been dishonest. You have been unfair. You have been cruel. You have been harsh. No. And manners I don't want such. But you cheated behind me. So I know. Such people have no room in my heart or in my home. And they were thrown away out of the house.
So Linda was sad for some time because she didn't like to hurt anybody. But her father told her they didn't deserve. They made our life. They made their lives unhappy, and horrible and messy. So he said, "You, they were better off without them." And so, and they had to pay for their mistakes and unfair and injustice. उन्होंने जाति की अनफेयर थे झूठ बोला गलती की सख्ती की तो वो ऐसे लोग नहीं रह सकते हमारे साथ हमारी फैमिली बन के सो दैट्स हाउ इट हैपन्ड सो यू नो वॉट गोज अराउंड कम्स अराउंड हर वक्त हमें अपने बारे में नहीं सोचना चाहिए हर वक्त हम सिर्फ ये सोचते हैं मुझे ये बुक चाहिए मुझे ये पेन चाहिए मुझे पिज्जा चाहिए मुझे ये शूज चाहिए नहीं आपको दूसरों का भी ख्याल रखना होता है सी इफ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर योर पेरेंट्स टू टेक यू डोट शुड थ्रो टैन ट्रम्स एंड डू यू हेल्प क्लीन योर कपड्स और योर स्कूल बुक्स और योर बेडरूम और द लैम्प दैट यू यूज एट होम यू कैन हेल्प इवन इफ यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ हेल्प एट होम ट्राई टू हेल्प दैम स्पीक टू दैम काइंडली एंड वेन एवर योर मदर इज टायर लुक आफ्टर हर give it a cup of tea or a glass of milk or water and same goes for the father receive him with a smile and ask him how his day was kitna acha lagega and you'll be happier family and i'm sure you're doing your homeworks as you're told you sleep on time and you're keeping the planet clean oh don't forget covid is all coming back so we have to wear mask wash your hands and use sanitizers get vaccinated hmm i know you all doing that you all remind each other of that you keeping your houses and rooms clean the streets the malls the schools clean we'll soon be a very clean place in the world yes you got to do it only you guys can do it lovely ladies and lovely men thank you for joining in let me know what kind of stories you need to hear bye bye thank you so much